have Nicole Aloni and we have Lee McMorris here on behalf of the Theater Guild. Well, welcome, ladies. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Great. Excited to be here. Now, of course, we have not really met you here on the set um, so far. So what I'd love to do before we begin is just tell me a little bit about yourselves and how long you've lived in the village. Why don't you start, Nicole? Um, I, interesting timing. I moved in almost exactly a year ago today. Oh, okay. Um, I'm from Laguna Beach. I'm oh. an actual native, <laughs> which I think there's not three. There's a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, people, you say that to people and they go like, oh, you moved here recently? I'm like, no, I'm actually from here. Um, I've acted my whole life. Um, I got the drama scholarship from the Laguna Playhouse oh. to go to college. So. Oh my gosh, isn't that great? You know, it's, it's a fun connection. Yeah. And I'm also a French trained chef and a life coach. Wow, a French trained chef. That is awesome. Could you come yes. to my house and cook me some food? That would be awesome, right? <laughs> I do do this. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Well, you are obviously are not far from home. And, yeah. uh, you know, what, what drew you to Laguna Woods? Um, I like the community and really, honestly, and I'm sure anybody would say this if they were being honest, it's an affordable, beautiful place to live that's minutes from where I grew up. Exactly. And there's very little around here that's affordable. And this isn't just, pardon me, I'm now doing a Laguna Woods commercial, but it's not just, it's beautiful. When I describe it to friends or send pictures of my house or my yard, it's like, I feel like I live in a park. Yes. Well, and that's one of the nice things about, I think, the village, you know, there's a lot going on and there's yeah. 35,000 different kinds of trees and there's, you're right, it's very park-like setting. And how about you? How long have you been in the village? Oh, I've lived here about eight years now. Okay. I came all the way north from Laguna Niguel. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some local ladies here today. That's <laughs> rare. Indeed. Yeah, indeed. Like you said. yes. No. Wow. no, I came to California about 30 years ago. I came east to California from Japan. Wow. Where I'd spent about six years. Okay. I was with Air Force military okay. recreation. And part of that, of course, was some theater, but not very much. Okay. Not very much. We were more, in, more into the things that the military preferred. Of course. In our recreation centers. But I started out as a theater major in college. I see. And I finished as a theater major in college. Kind okay. Of yes. And, but I didn't do anything with it after that, except right. to do Toastmasters, I think, for the past 30 years. Right. Which is, I think, the most marvelous extension. I've heard. Oh, it is. It is indeed. And it's, it's interesting, because Toastmasters gives you a taste of what it's like for theater, but for very intimate theater sometimes, and sometimes for very large. Right. But as uh, she, we, we were talking about uh, storytelling as part of it and mm -hmm. so that's one of the areas I've become interested in as well. Well they do a lot of that in the theater yeah, for yeah. sure I and mean, there's yes. always they do I mean sometimes they have small vignettes and then they have larger yes. ones you know it just kind of goes all over the map so I think between between them and, and old pros you certainly get a really yes. wide range yeah. of different yeah. kinds of things. Well and, and the people in the old pros and they, they, they mix with each other very much exactly. they swim back and forth between right. both pools so. Right, right. No, good stuff. All right, so we've got a performance that's coming up here um, right around the corner, June 16th at Clubhouse yeah. 5. And um, Lee, you're going to be uh, telling me about that. Oh, yes, well, that's, that is a, it's the second year of comedy. And it gives people a chance to show off their chops in comedy. <laughs> so there are things like there are stories, there are, there are skits, mm -hmm. there are musical numbers. And it's, it's, it's a delightful, it's a delightful thing. There were some, uh, for example, in one of our, one of our um, MCs, or mm -hmm. the MC that we have is Mark Schwartz, mm -hmm. who did a wonderful job if, it, if they went to see the very successful Cafe Murder. Yeah, yeah. And at the April meeting. So uh, one of the things also, Lutheran Church is going to join us. It, with performing some numbers from Once Upon a Mattress, which, as I understand, was where Carol Burnett got her big kick forward. Oh, isn't that funny? Yeah. That is great. She played the princess, and I just imagine her 16 mattresses up. <laughs> so. And a funny secondary note to that, 30 years later, she played Queen Agravain. 
Oh, the, that's right. I, and there and it was a big television special. It was, oh, wonderful. I've never seen that happen. She no, was the young ingenue, and then she's and, the... And yeah. now, in ours, just to follow that thing, Esther Chun, who is yes. with our Theatre Guild, is playing Queen Agravaine in, in this show of ours. So. I love it. Yeah, so it's uh, it, it it should be it should be fun, and I'm doing a bit. I'm doing probably the longest act there. No, really, Lee, shut up. <laughs> I'm doing one about one minute ten seconds. One minute ten, ten seconds. seconds. Oh my gosh! Yes, well, they, really. well, they were saying that they're going <laughs> to fit a yeah. lot of comedy in to that one evening, right? I mean, the show the show is how long? Is it about an hour? About an hour. Okay. Yeah, right. So they're going to fit a lot of that. You're in the show too? No, I'm not, not that one. Okay. No, I was so. in the murder mystery. Oh, but you're in the one she's going to talk about. <laughs> yeah. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. Yeah. Well, fun. Well, let me ask you one quick thing. What do you love best about being in the theater guild? I think the people. More, the, the chance to do something, but sometimes it's almost the excitement of a chance to do something, okay. even if you do nothing at all. <laughs> so going to the... <laughs> no, isn't that right? Yes, it's okay. great, but the well, way she says that... I know, I had, I had to take it in I like, You have go. to think about it, you're like, oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, you had to digest it. Yeah. So it's... it's uh, and, and you get to work with different people, you get to work with people who've had a lot of experience, people who have none, and right. you get to, to work with directors in training. Yes. Which becomes interesting uh -huh. and, uh, and very rewarding, actually, the whole okay. thing. So it's a mutual. Uh, and, then, and then occasionally what you get is into a mutual admiration society meeting. You know, these very two or three people get together and you've been so wonderful. Uh -huh. And yes, well, no, you were wonderful in this thing. I'm just so glad. I. Oh, you actors and actresses. <laughs> exactly. Sheesh. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. All right, Nicole, yeah. tell me about uh, what's happening after that. So the, the next show that we're doing um, is called Things That Go By the Board. Oh, darling. <laughs> I was out of town for the pictures. So. It's the second time in the world I've taken a picture for a cast and I was out of town. So I'm off the, I would be off the end of that. Okay. Um, and this is a really funny, lighthearted show based on the inner workings of the HOA <laughs> governing board. Mm. For uh -huh. those of us who live I just look right. So those of us who live in places that are where HOA boards govern mm -hmm. what happens, mm -hmm. and I think their their meetings even play on this channel, don't they? Yes, they do. Yes. So many people perhaps may have seen this, mm -hmm. or something like this. Mm -hmm. And this is a very, uh, very funny take on the kinds of things that can happen with volunteers on boards trying to solve all kinds of issues. I bet. I um, mean, even at the read-through, the audition, we were all laughing hysterically before <laughs> anybody was even really doing their Well, part. and then those who probably watch the board, they, they see a lot of that. So yeah. let's tell everybody what time that's at. That's July 21st at Clubhouse 5 at, uh, at 7 p.m. Yeah. Members are free and guests are $5. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And tell me about your character real quick. Uh, so I play, I play Fifi, Fifi, and she's lived she's lived in this community, which is very much like Laguna Woods, <laughs> for some time. And she has an idea about something that will bring a lot of fun into the community. And her proposal causes a lot of consternation. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Thank you both so much. We appreciate you guys coming in and tell us about the events. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. And if you want more information about both these performances, you can always go to their website, which is theaterguildlw.com. We'll be right back.